As I had referenced earlier today in my public post on YouTube, I'm going to reveal who this woman is you see before you. Honored speaker at many conservative events, some having more of a Christian and moral tinge to them. This is Lauren Boebert from Colorado in her young life. She was this rebel, this living-on-the-edge kind of anarchist with a rap sheet. She's got quite the history. But when you do a deep dive into the psyche, you really can start to see something that she's living in a fantasy world. Now, just to be very clear, I'm for Second Amendment rights, and I agree with conservative values, but what's going on with this woman is something very dangerous, because her little fantasy world that's going on in her head is one of anarchy. If you look at the things that she has said and the things that she has done, it is very clear that she has been heavily influenced by a TV series called Sons of Anarchy. This is who she thinks she is. These people that went to the Capitol on the 6th, they weren't trying to reinstill capitalism. They weren't, right, well, they weren't trying to reinstill constitutional government. They were trying to get rid of all government. I know a lot of you might disagree with that, but that is truly the case. I have personal experience with this. Over at my Twitch channel, I had a particular viewer that came multiple times prior to the 6th and said, you just wait, you just wait, it's coming, it's coming, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and I'm like, yeah, 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 blow it out your ass, whatever. And then that happened. I'm like, oh, that must have been what that guy was talking about. You see, but now she's trying to dress up her image because they failed. And make no mistake, when you try to rebel and overthrow a government and create anarchy, you better be prepared. You better have done the risk-reward analysis. What happens if we fail? What's my plan B? What's my plan C? You see, they never, they never think about this. They never think about this. It's always living in the moment, and here's the key, based on feelings, not on thought. See, she can start a restaurant, and she can be a modern American woman, and, you know, be all pro-Second Amendment and say whatever she wants. Wonderful. That's fine. But understand, that comes with pros, and that comes with cons, and now she's trying to dress up her image. Wearing the pretty pink dress up on stage at Turning Point USA. Talking about Christian values. In the Bible, women are supposed to be modest. Now, many of you are like, but Maki, you show girls in bikinis. Bikinis at the beach are appropriate. And that's modest. Appropriate and modest are synonyms. There are things that this woman and Marjorie Taylor Greene both have done that are wildly inappropriate. And I'm going to call it right here. She may go to jail. She is very likely to at least face charges for it. Because here she is posing with a bunch of Sons of Anarchy wannabes. Three of which have been positively identified as participants in what happened on the 6th. This was on her Instagram the day before. This is a Jan 5 pick. They had no idea what they were doing. They had no idea what they were doing. They were living in some fantasy. Did this look like a group of soldiers to you? I mean, this guy over here is on the far right at kind of somewhat in shape, but these guys all look like they could at least lose 40 or 50 pounds. These aren't soldiers. These are wannabes. The couch potatoes. And they have her dead to rights on her Twitter. The day before, leading up to this, talking about this. I'm saying it right now, guys. And oh, by the way, this picture in the middle 
is her working for an escort service. And since we're at Patreon, I can probably just come out and say, I probably don't have to come out and say what an escort service is. I'm sure many of you already know. It isn't paying a young lady to go have dinner with you. She may escort you to dinner, but she's also going to escort you underneath the sheets and do what is ever necessary to make that money between the sheets. That was what her life began as. And I've said before, as a tree is known by its fruit, it is also known by its root. And that's just the reality. That's just the facts, guys. Some combination of these four. Explorer, lover, rebel, hero. Fear of being vulnerable, of being alone, of being trapped, of being powerless. Like we all don't have those fears. Like we all don't. Everybody has those fears. No one wants to be alone or vulnerable or trapped or powerless. But now all of a sudden she's all polished up and pretty and ready to start to speak to America's youth and pontificate morally? No. Nope, sorry. And then they have the gall and audacity to toss out this woman. At least this woman, Brandy Love, is being publicly, genuinely who she is and what she is. And she's owning it. She's not pretending to be one thing to one group of people and then another thing to another group of people. And I know this is something that a lot of people don't want to hear. They aren't going to like to hear this. There's no such thing as anarchy. Because nature abhors a vacuum. Meaning when power is brought to ruin, if they were to somehow magically have succeeded, there is a short time where there is a vacuum of power, but then other groups move in to take that role. And you better be the meanest, nastiest, and pay attention here, richest bad guy on the block, or you're going to lose. Don't think so? Go visit southern Colombia. Go visit parts of Brazil. Go visit the vast majority of Peru. You see, when the government pulls out, and there's that vacuum of power, and that vacuum of authority and law and order, other types will move in and take control. There's no such thing as anarchy. It doesn't last. It doesn't last. And this is the ignorance of these people. I mean, I don't condemn the woman for having only a GED, but the fact that she decided to throw a temper tantrum and drop out of high school in 11th grade and then regret it and go back and try to fix things is evidence that she makes bad decisions and then goes and tries to put a lipstick on it. And maybe not, might not be the best choice for a leader in Colorado. Because leaders need to be thought-based, not feelings-based. And when you look at everything Lauren Boebert has done, it's all about hyping emotions. It's all about hyping emotions. See, it's, it feels really good to, you know, wave the American flag and talk about Second Amendment and talking about Sons of Liberty and talking about, you know, the it all feels good. But in reality, to make the changes that need to be made, that's something that's going to require some time between the ears, not between other places. And that's what this series was all about, other places. You can't polish this up. If this goes somehow and Miss Bobert hears this, ma'am, 
You can't polish this up. Own it or abandon it. Figure out who you authentically are and be that person. For better or for worse. So I will leave this there. Thank you everyone who's come to Patreon. I very much appreciate it. It's kind of a tough platform to deal with YouTube and walk that fine line. You guys are helping me do it, helping me keep my word. We will try to continue to put content up here that is relevant and gloves off and telling the truth. But uh, you guys have a great night. Tonight, usually around 10 o'clock, sometime between 10, 10, 20, maybe a little earlier, maybe a little later, I am on Twitch. And we stream a game called Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, the game is just a backdrop for the conversation. The game is a lot of fun. There's a lot to do with it. When the conversation kind of dwindles, you know, we can talk about what's going on in the game. But usually we talk about all sorts of other things just like this. Gloves off. Twitch is one of those. And it's T-W-I-T-C-H, just like it sounds. Twitch.tv. And then forward slash Florida Maki. And you can find me. Links are in the description box of all my YouTube videos. And we can take the gloves off and we can talk about anything you want there. It is really not that censored. It's very much different than YouTube. So would love to see you there. Um, but uh, don't think I'm trying to say that I'm somehow better or anyone else is better or worse than Miss Bobert. It's just that... When you look at a pattern of decisions, you can see something come out from her young life that is very much in common with her modern, more middle-aged life. And I'll leave it there. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. See you tonight on Twitch.